Hello, today I am going to show you how to create a pencil holder. First, we are going to create a sketch of the side of the cup on the XC plane. Go to select the XC plane. Now, I'm going to draw a 32 millimeter line at the bottom. And now, I'm going to draw a 90 millimeter line in the upwards direction. And at the top, I'm going to draw a 45 millimeter line. Now, I'm going to use a spleen. Spleen is basically a curved line. And I'm going to connect these two lines that I just drew, the 45 millimeter line and the 32 millimeter line using a curved line. Would we'll start at the end point of the 32 millimeter line. For we'll to place a point here, and then I'm going to connect it to the end point of the 45 millimeter line. I'm going to click on something else to exit out of the spleen tool and then I'm going to click finish sketch. Now we are going to revolve the sketch that I just drew. The revolve tool basically makes the sketches that you draw three dimensional by rotating them. So I'm going to click on the revolve tool, select this line as my axis line and revolve it by 360 degrees. If you do not want to do a full rotation, you can make the angle less than 360 degrees. Now we need a hole for the cup, so I'm going to use the shell tool. I'm going to click on the shell tool right over here, click on the top of the cup. I'm going to enter four millimeters. Now I want to create a fillet. So I'm going to go to modify, press fillet, and press, click on the edge of the cup right over here. So I'm going to make the fillet eight millimeters. Now, as you can see, what the fillet tool does is it creates a curved intersection between two faces on a three-dimensional object. I'm also going to create an 8mm fillet on the bottom of the cup. So I'm going to click Modify, go down to my fillet tool, click on this line and make it 8mm. Now we want a ring at the top of the cup. So I'm going to use the chamfer tool. I'm going to go down to chamfer, select chamfer, click on this inner ring of the cup and enter three millimeters. Now I want to draw a handle for my cup. So I'm going to select the front plane to create a sketch. I'm going to use the spleen tool again to draw my handle. I'm going to start drawing my spleen a little bit inside of the cup. I'm going to place a point right here, another point over here, another point over here, then a point over here. And there's my handle. Now I'm going to click on something else to exit out, and then I'm going to click Finish Catch. Now we want to make the curved line that we just drew three dimensional, so we're going to construct a plane to draw on. I'm going to click Construct, click on a plane tangent to a face at point. I'm going to select this as my point and select the cup as my face, and now my plane is created. And I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to draw a sketch of a rectangle on my plane to make my handle three dimensional. So 
Now, the rectangle that starts at the center point is under the Create menu. So go down to Rectangle and you select Center Rectangle. Now, this rectangle is going to be 6 millimeters in height and 12 millimeters in width. I also want to create a fillet so that the edges of my handle are around. So I'm going to fillet the edges by two millimeters. I'm going to select my fillet tool to click on the edges of the rectangle and I'm going to type in two millimeters and I'm going to fillet each one of the intersections between the sides. Then I'm going to click finish catch. Now I'm going to use the sweep tool. What the sweep tool does is it makes a three-dimensional object by taking a face and making that face follow a certain path. So in this case, the rectangle that we just made is the face and the outline of the handle is the path. And you will be able to see it when I use the sweep tool right now. I'm going to click on create, then sweep, but to select the rectangle as my profile, and as my path, I'm going to select the curved line. Then I'm going to make sure that for the operation it's on join. Then I'm going to hit OK. Now we, you can also make a smooth intersection between the handle and the cup by creating a fillet. So I'm going to click Modify, Fillet. Now I'm going to select the handle and then I'm going to fillet the handle by let's say four millimeters. And as you can see, it creates a smooth intersection and I'm going to hit OK. And now you've created your pencil holder. You can store pencils, pens and other things. It's up to you. It's quite useful actually. Thank you for watching and make sure to come back for more 3D modeling tutorials.